by famous artists. You may know that there are some mysterious stories about paintings, but have you ever realized that they can help you to remember vital things in your life, which you shouldn't forget, for example, death? For those who don't know me, my name is Sabina, and I'm a pre-intermediate student here. Greatest artists love to leave riddles in their paintings. Some of them have not been found yet. So prepare your ears and listen carefully. Now I'll briefly touch on four greatest paintings, their history and, of course, their dark side. Next. We will talk about ambassadors, the Arnold Finney portrait, where is Bruegel and the scream. Next. First, and first, Gens Holbein Illusion. This painting by Gens Holbein Illusion of the 16th century called Ambassadors maintain one dark secret. Did you notice something very strange at the bottom of the painting? Next. It's a deliberately distorted skull. Um, if you look at the painting from the side, the skull will look normal, normally. But an important question is, why did you draw a skull? The answer is in a man who is standing on the left. His name is Jean de Dinterville, and he was the French ambassador, and his slogan was Memento Mori, which means remember about this. The picture needed to hang on the wall next to the door, and when someone opened the door, the door they will see a skull. So this will always remind people about this. Next, the second, the Arnold Finney portrait. On the painting by Jan Van Eyck, the Arnold Finney portrait figured two, figured an Italian salesperson, Gavani Arnold Finney, and his wife. It's easy to get lost in the impressive realism of the picture, but young one egg left some hidden details for the more sharp-sided eyes. Next. The circle mirror with two characters not only stunningly idealized. However, there is an portrait of young one egg himself. It's believed that the figure in blue is one egg himself. There is also a title on the wall Young one egg was here, 1434. Next. Uh, the painting is 67 centimeters high. Next. The third painting, where is Bruegel? At first, Dutch proverbs of the uh, of Peter Bruegel seem to be a 400 year old uh, version of the book, Where is the Wally? But actually, this painting. Uh, contain entire 112 proverbs, sayings, and idioms, which were popular at that time. Uh, um, the first, for example, next. Two stupids under one hood. Uh, its phrase means stupidity loves company, which is true even today. The second proverb, next. The second proverb, hiding in a man who is looking at the beaters. Um, it's an ancient idiom which means see dancing beers or dying of hunger. Next. Um, perhaps the most familiar proverb which we use even today is hiding in a man who is swimming in the lake. Uh, this reminds us about swim against the current, which means to resist conventional wisdom. The beauty lies in the details of this picture hiding hundreds of secrets. Next. The fourth painting, The Scream. Painting 1893 by Edward Munch, The Scream um, is, the, depicts a human in agony. Many believe that this picture uh, embodies the feeling of horror of the person, but actually, no. Edward Munch wrote in his diary that he, the idea, the inspiration for this picture came to him during a walk when the sky turned dark red. In 18, it's believed that this happened because of the eruptions that happened in 1883 and the eruption of Krakatoa. Is that a volcanic eruption? Volcanic eruption of Krakatoa. And the, this picture was painted 10 years after the eruption. Had, and um, Munch had loved this um, looking and drawed this. 
So, uh, whether this painting was inspired by the eruption, uh, it's believed that many people think that this uh, picture and this person is because of the internal displacement of the Edward Monk or even uh, or even displacement in his many brain. So whether this whether this picture was inspired by the eruption or mental displacements were op both options add to the picture an anxious feeling. Um, in conclusion, I want to the I want to say the quote of the day is the success is ability to go from failure to failure, not without losing your enthusiasm.